Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time visiting, welcome. I'm so pleased that you st decided to check me out. My, uh, my channel is Fat50 and anorexic, anorexic, fat being super cool. I'm super cool, so at least my grandkids tell me that I am anyway. So welcome, welcome. I wanted to get on here and talk about something that as I was walking with my goats, that's Zsa Zsa, and this is Ava. Back there, uh, the Jack Russell is Dago, and the King Charles Spaniel, which is the biggest most people have ever seen. He's a, he's a brute out here running the woods and eating baby rabbits and mice, and he hunts and they chase squirrels. Dago doesn't eat, really. Uh, he kills, he does kill, but Charlie will gobble. It's, and that's a weird thing to watch, that pretty sweet little face gobble up a mouse with a mouse's tail hanging out of it. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I were out walking in the woods. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? The uh, canopy of the trees isn't up yet. Everything has a light green haze about it. And just the flowers all covering the floor of the woods. There's white, purple. We've got little bitty yellow ones. So I thought as I was out here walking, I'd do my, my vlog for the day. And I think I'm going to post this one. It's on a topic that got brought up last month that I was just, um, you know how things pop in your head. Well, I, I decided that I think it's a great topic today. And it's the, on the mental side of having an eating disorder. From what uh, we discussed in group about a month ago, and everybody in the group was like, wow, that's, it, it, it does line up. It, it, that's a surprise. And what I'm talking about is when you hold up how you are with other people and your relationships, they're going to match up more than likely, not always, but more than likely, they will match up with the symptoms and things that your eating disorder does to you. For example, if I have anorexia, it was interesting for me to take the concept and roll it around and I've been rolling it around for a couple of weeks since we discussed it. Everybody, like I said, was really kind of a wowed by it. Since I restrict the way I do and I'm so hard with my rules after 40 some years of having this, I'm very set in my rules. Um, they're hard, it's hard to convince me my rules aren't for my betterment and aren't even sometimes for, for my safety. But that's part of the eating disorder, and that's things I have to let go of some of my rules. So I'm trying to work on that. But the idea that we are mirroring in our relationships what our eating disorder major symptoms are. And so a couple of the girls in the group that were, um, that were, oh, what is it? I forget. Um, bulimic. Yeah, that were bulimic. We're talking about, yeah, I overindulge myself in a bunch of people and and, um, and just have a really great time but then I take it to the point where I'm never alone and once I'm alone I'm very uncomfortable and that's the same way with food you get rid of you suddenly get rid of people the way you purge your food and you collect and gorge yourself on social activities and people and having a lot of friends and then you're nowhere to be seen you ghost everybody so and that's usually when our eating disorders are pretty hard, that we end up excluding ourselves from everything and staying home. And then when you get weak from an eating, eating disorder, from not, the not eating part, for bulimics, the throwing up part is exhausting. Um, Charlie's on to something, isn't he? It, it mimics your eating disorder. Do you find that to be true? And if you do, I'd love for you to share with me in the comments um, how you feel about whether or not your eating disorder, once you think about it a little bit, mimics the main, you know, the main attribute to your eating disorder. Uh-oh, we don't want her to break a leg. Be careful, girl. Like she's going to listen to me like a dog. Uh-oh. Jaja's, but they're goats, you know, they're cool. They can climb in and out of stuff. Come on, girl. There you go. That's a girl. She's got a Michael Jackson glove on her. She's looking for a treat. No, my hands are busy. No treat for right now. See, look at this. Oh, look at my purple little flowers. 
course, we've got a few dandelions. And they are picky. Goats are known to be not picky. We thought they weren't going to be picky, and they'd eat everything in our woods. And they only do that if they're starving. <laughs> so they love the new growth on trees. They um, love a lot of what grows on the woods floor. And she's wagging her tail. So she's either got a fly at her butt or she's happy. Because they do wag when they're happy. Isn't that cool? I've ended up loving having them. Now, I don't want to have babies. We don't want to mate them. I don't want a male. FYI, male goats, they, they put their head down between their front legs as far as it'll go underneath, and they piss on their face. So male goats are stinky, 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 but I guess when the girls are in heat, that's what they like. And uh, I guess they do it all the time, so they're always hopeful. <laughs> Sounds like a man to me. <laughs> But anyway, all right, so that's all I wanted to say today. It's a short clip today. I wanted to promote the idea of looking at your relationships and your eating disorder and see if the rules are, if you're kind of playing your, your friends and your family like you do food. You use friends and family in the same way you use food. Let me know. Let me know. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.